Hey everybody, Sean here from TheGimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in the Dark Side Detective, grabbing the bookworm achievement. This is to read every single possible book during Case 2, Tome Alone. Which one do you want to stop the case? Head inside the library. Your first books can be gotten by talking to the librarian. Which one do you want to make sure you go through every single dialogue choice, especially the bottom two. So make sure you ask about Dooley's books as well as the book the librarian herself is reading. And that is going to be the first two towards the achievement. After that, we are going to continue on with the case. Make sure you head inside the office. You are supposed to grab the pair of scissors out of the cup on the desk. And then you are supposed to grab the button out of the cup. Coat rack. So once you have those two, we can proceed back to the lobby. Make sure you take the elevator. We are going to stop by the second floor first. So make sure you just click the button to go up. Pretty sure you know how an elevator works. Once you are on the second floor, we're going to start off on the left side. Click the sign in order to go into the sci-fi and fantasy section. Two quest related items here. First up, click the rocket on the left side in order to get the metal strip and then click on the library card on the bottom of the left shelf. There are obviously going to be books in here. This is the way the book collectibles are going to work when dealing with shelves. Which one do you want to make sure you click the shelf? You can click anywhere on it and you should get a book title. Then every subsequent time you click on the shelf, you should get another book title. So basically what you want to do is you want to keep clicking on the shelf until the titles start looping on themselves. That's how you know when the shelf is finished. So just keep clicking on it and then eventually once the titles start cycling, we are going to be finished up with this shelf. We should have every book on it. And then just do the same thing for the right side. So make sure you get everything on the left side, which is sci-fi, and then everything on the right side, which is fantasy. So make sure you go through the entire thing. And then once you start noticing them repeat themselves, you should be good for finishing up that shelf. Then we're going to back out to the hallway and then head into the children's section. Grab your quest-related item in the form of the Viewmaster, and again, just like the previous section, there are going to be two shelves that you need to cycle through. So start out with whatever one, and then just work your way around until the titles start looping, and then once you grab that one, just move on to the other side. So we're going to start off on the right side, simply because that's the one that had the Viewmaster on it, and then we're going to grab the left, and then once you get both of those, you should be done with this floor. Don't worry about the floating book, we are going to come back for that later, and the book that the little kid is reading is not going to count towards the achievement. So feel free to head back to the elevator and then take it up to the third floor. Now it's very important that this time we make sure we tackle these rooms in a specific order. We are going to start out by going to the right side, it should be hobby slash DIY. First up, grab your quest related item in the form of the thing of glue on the table. Then we're going to start off, make sure you read every single book on the right side, which is the DIY section. So just again, click on it and then keep clicking on it until the titles start looping. And then make sure you get this one out of the way. Once this one's done, just do the same thing for the left side, which is going to be the hobby section. And that should do it for this room, at least for now. We are going to come back here later, so keep that in mind. You want to make sure you get this done as soon as you hit up the third floor. Back out to the main hallway and then head across and then head into the reading room. You're going to meet this person. As soon as the introductions are out of the way, make sure you grab her books on the table. And then we should be done with all of the books on the third floor, at least for now. Head to where you need to get going in the story, which is going to be the microfilm room. Use these scissors on the box of microfilm and then use the Viewmaster on the box and that should continue the story. You're going to cycle through all these newspaper bits and then eventually you should get all of the ghosts to appear. So what you want to do immediately after you activate the ghosts is you want to make sure you leave and then head over to the hobby and DIY section. Do not talk to anyone along the way or else you will miss this achievement. So, as soon as you get here, make sure you click on the right shelf again. You only need to click it once, there's going to be a new book here, so all you have to do is just click it and then go through all the dialogue and that should count towards the achievement. Then we are going to start our quest to fix the elevator. Combine the metal strip with the button in your inventory to get a conductive button, and then give it to the ghost right here. She should fix the elevator, giving us access to the fourth floor. Head back there, again not talking to anyone along the way, and then just hit the button to head up to the top floor. Click on the book cart to the left once you get here, and then you should get the slew of books on it. Once you have those, feel free to continue on to the one and only section on the fourth floor, which is going to be the horror section. 
this is going to have the bulk of the books in the chapter. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you start out with the upper left. As you can see, each of the shelves have different sections within them. So they are divided into letters. Make sure you get every single book in A through B. And again, just make sure you keep clicking on it until the title is loop. Then do the same thing for every single section. There are going to be a total of nine shelves you have to go through. So make sure you get C through D. And then once you get that out of the way, you're going to grab E through F. And then the last one on the left side is going to B, G through H. That should wrap up the left side, and then we're going to move on to the middle. There is only going to be one section here, which is going to be K through L. Now, the reason we wanted to go up to the fourth floor as soon as we get the ghosts active is because this shelf is not going to be available to you once you talk to the ghosts in the reading room. So to avoid missing it, what you want to do is you want to make sure you come up to the fourth floor and then enter the horror section and then go through K through L as soon as possible. Once you have that out of the way, we're going to move on to the right shelf. Make sure you get the four on this side. So make sure you get Q through R, S through T, U through W, and then X through Z. And then once you have all of those, we are going to make sure we head back to the hallway. And now that we have the horror section done, which is the most missable part, we should be free to continue on with the story. So back down to the third floor and then feel free to head back into the reading room to tackle the conversations here. So the quick and dirty on the puzzle right here is to talk to the ghost in the reading room, head back into the microfilm room, talk to the ghost in there, head back outside, talk to Roxa to get the admin password, head back inside, use the password on the computer, then talk to the ghost in here, and then he's going to tell you to go back outside, and then talk to this ghost, and that should trigger the next part of the quest. So head back out to the third floor, and then we're going to take this back up to the fourth floor. And then once we are here, our opportunity to get to that middle shelf is going to disappear. So you can no longer get K through L as soon as you talk to all of those ghosts on the third floor. Once you are in the horror section, just talk to Edgar Allan Poe in order to continue on with the story. He's going to have you go down to the second floor to talk to the ghost that's going to be in the children's section. This is going to be the one that's holding up the floating book. To get the next book, what you have to do is you have to head down to the first floor, and then what you want to do once you are down here is combine the thing of glue with the library card. Then you want to make sure you use the sticky library card on the librarian. She's going to shoo you away. Then we need to head into the office, interact with the photocopier in order to get a photocopy, combine that with the library card, and then we should have the fake library card. Then we can use this on the librarian in order to get the book that she's holding. Then all you have to do to get this one to count towards the achievement is to make sure you click on it in your inventory. So it should be the trashy novel. Make sure you click on it and then get the description that should count towards the achievement. Now we are going to take this book back up to the fourth floor and then we're going to hand it over to Edgar Allan Poe in order to continue the case. So just make sure you head back into the horror section, then just drag it over him and then you should give it to him. He should disappear and then we should feel free to move on. So that's going to take care of the ghosts on the fourth floor. Then we need to make sure we head back down to the second floor in order to take care of the ghosts down there. Head into the children's section and then talk to the ghost holding up the floating book. That should add it to your inventory. Make sure you interact with it as soon as it is in your inventory. And that should take care of the Lovecraft novel. Then we are going to take this back to the fourth floor in order to use it on the K through L section in order to open up the occult section of the library. So back up to the fourth floor, back into horror. Just drag the book to the spot in the middle shelf. That should turn the book into a lever. And then once you interact with it, in the shelf you should move it and then get access to the occult section through the spooky doorway three things in here that will count towards the achievement first up you have the book in the middle you have a shelf on your right right here again make sure you click on it until the titles start looping and then there's one more smaller shelf off to the left which is the area where you get the skull so make sure you just get both of those shelves it should be the same as the other sections make sure you keep clicking until they loop and then we should have everything we need towards the achievement in terms of solving the case puzzle here grab the skull and then grab it out of your inventory and then drop it down the crawl space right here it should rattle and roll all the way down to the second floor which is where we need to get going in order to get the roof access key before we do that though which one of these want to take the elevator down to the first floor the librarian should have moved up to the second floor in order to investigate the skull so that leaves us available to read all of the books on the front counter those should be the last ones that count towards the achievement once you have everything you should be good for it. There it is, 90 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.